with the concept of ABAP. ABAP is a uh, programming language of uh, SAP. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it basically uh, customizes the reports and uh, actually SAP is made out of ABAP uh, since it is a programming language of ABAP of SAP. I mean. Okay, thank you so much. So, uh, can you tell me uh, what do you mean by an ABAP uh, data dictionary? Uh, ABAP data dictionary. Uh, it's a uh, uh, transaction code uh, SE11. Uh, it is composed uh, to create or uh, to display or create uh, or modify information like data element, data types, uh, database table, and uh, search help, uh, search help, and views. Okay. So, uh, can you uh, describe the data classes? Uh, I'm not that uh, uh, flu uh, fluent in uh, creating uh, what they call this uh, object oriented programming. Uh, mostly are uh, I use the, uh, uh, the the traditional ABAP, the ECC6 language, although I could debug the data classes uh, but uh, basically what I know in data classes is that uh, a class uh, is composed of uh, is are like subroutines uh, that which you could uh, what you call this uh, reuse it. Uh, it's a set of codes that you could reuse it in uh, in another in an object oriented programming uh, uh, object oriented programming. So my next question is: Can you explain the difference between uh, the dialog program and the report? Dialog programs uh, are are graphic user interface. Uh, usually, uh, uh, it's more interactive. Uh, although reports are also uh, could be interactive. Mostly, reports are uh, mainly for for display uh, the information needed. Unlike uh, the uh, dialog programming that you could create buttons and uh, could display. Uh, Will display the information uh, there, uh, directly uh, based on the interaction between the user and the system, uh, based on the how the user would uh, they call this uh, control it. So, uh, I guess that's all. Yeah. Okay, hey Mark. So right now uh, you are working for which company, and uh, for what are your basic job responsibilities there? Uh, currently, right now, I'm working with DXC Technology. Uh, right now, my project is with PN, uh, Procter & Gamble. Uh, I'm part of the archiving team. Uh, I don't know why did they assign me in an archiving team, which is I'm an app app. Uh, before, I was assigned also in PNG, but I'm in uh, L2, in a level 2 uh, support. As you can see, some of my projects are not really related to app app, uh, but they just throw it, throw me in some, uh, and I, I take his as everything as a challenge for me. <laughs> yeah. So what is your current position there, and uh, how many team members are there, uh, and uh, is there anybody who directly report you, or uh, what is the organ structure or of your department like? Uh, right now, the project. Uh, I'm part of the operations. I have a team lead and I have a man manager. So I think I'm at the bottom, but uh, at the bottom part of the organization chart since I'm at the operations. Uh, but uh, I also report and present uh, uh, monthly for the monthly uh, mon monthly report. I'm the one who's uh, of uh, the st monthly status report. Okay. So uh, my next question is, uh, can you explain the benefits of a uh, modularization technique? Modularization technique uh, allows you to reuse the codes, uh, allows you to group the codes that you could reuse. Uh, for uh, another benefit is that, uh, aside from reusing, it's more organized. It's more organized, so uh, when you group the code, you could reuse it in another program or another subroutine. Or uh, so uh, 
that's the more advantage or, or benefits of the modularization technique. Thank you. Uh, Mark, uh, what are different types of uh, parameters and uh, how can you distinguish, distinguish between different kinds of parameters? Uh, you mean the parameters in a, in a program? Like, uh, for example, the parameters, one parameter is the parameters itself. I'm asking about what? The, there are two parameters. One yes, is the select option. Uh, and the actual parameters. So I would like to know the difference between these two parameters. The select option allows you to multiple inputs, while the, uh, the parameter itself, uh, the parameters, the parameters word is a single input, single value input. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you notice the difference between a database index and uh, a match code? A database index is a uh, uh, base uh, is based on the what they call this the pr the primary keys of a certain uh, database field, and the date uh, what they call this the other one is the data match code. Yes, match code. Uh, uh, I I think I haven't used that data match code yet, uh, but uh, my uh, my idea with data match code is. Uh, uh it's like select uh uh i i'm not sure i'm just guessing right now uh it's like the select uh you allow the uh because in data index you 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 get the primary keys the fields sequentially while in data match code is that you uh you get the exact uh data that that matches with a certain parameter or certain code. I'm not really sure with data match code, but uh, I'm just guessing, but I'm not good at concepts, of course, <laughs> but uh, I think it's a wild guess, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, you have been working as a, a SAP consultant for a long period of time, right? So uh, yes. you have experience. So, so uh, the position is basically a leadership position. You have to supervise a team. So. Uh, what do you think how which kind of uh, leadership skills are required for sap uh, supervisor sap consultant uh, I, I think one of the leadership skills that you would, uh, that you should uh, you should possess is uh, that you are one technical uh, you technically know uh, somehow at least you would understand the the codes, uh, you know how to read the codes, and you know, and another is you're logical enough to uh, make uh, make uh, solutions. Another is uh, decision making skills, uh, like for example, uh, 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 to know whether the risk or the urgency of uh, the uh, uh, the uh, of a certain project, the the urgency of a certain task that you need. And the prioritization of uh, certain uh, certain activities that you need, and another is uh, also uh, being uh, understanding understanding with your teammates uh, because uh, a lot of you uh, 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 deal with a lot of things. Some of you are stressed out, and uh, another are irritated, or uh, somehow you need to 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 understand and be compassionate on, on your teammates on whether and on how would they deal also because uh, it's not not just about uh, uh, having the technical knowledge or because you also need the leadership that you also put your uh, you also know should know the uh, put your uh, put yourself in the shoes of others so that you'll understand the the the, the situation that they they are handling uh, do you feel that uh, you lack uh, some leadership skills which you really need to improve? Uh, uh, and no, I, I think um, based on my experience, I've been uh, I've been a foot soldier, I've been a lead, and I've been in a middle part. I've been an assistant. So uh, I'm uh, on based on experience. Uh, I think. I don't. Uh, I qualify. I don't. Uh, I I don't lack the certain leadership skills that uh, 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 lead uh, SAP lead uh, needs. 
Okay, okay. Thank you so much for uh, joining this uh, interview. So basically, you know, this is a very uh, initial phase of this recruitment process. Yes. Once you are shortlisted here, then the company will contact you and uh, subsequently the next process will be going on. So uh, thank you once again for joining this uh, discussion. Uh, take care. Okay. Will be update, so uh, will be, yes. Yeah. You, uh, I have some few questions regarding the company. Uh, what company is this? Okay, so uh, company information and other things will be discussed you once you are shortlisted here. So once you're shortlisted, then they'll contact you and they'll talk to you, uh, the company information, the benefit package and a lot of other things. And you can ask them any, any kind of question related to this. Okay, so uh, this is a very initial question. Right now, I'm not in a position to disclose these things. This is the policy of the company. Okay. 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 And how long will I wait for the next step? Okay, two weeks. Next. Okay, two weeks. Okay. 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 Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. Thank you very much, too. Thank you.